Shrikanth and DVS Navin, current MBA student of the batch 2019-21 at IIM Udaipur. I'm an electronics graduate with a five-year work experience in Infosys as a senior systems engineer for three years and two years in Andhra Bank as an assistant manager. Check out my B-School interview. Hope this would be helpful for your preparation. Yes, please. Please have a seat. So, tell us about yourself. Uh, I'm Navin, uh, an electronics engineer from Vishakhapatnam. Uh, I have a work experience of five years. I work for three years as a system senior systems engineer. Uh, priorly systems engineer later promoted to senior systems engineer in Infosys. Uh, during my stay in Infosys, I used to work for a US client, uh, looking after the salary payment application. Uh, and then with an interest in finance domain, I then started searching for bank jobs. So uh, I attempted bank jobs and then I was selected as a probationary officer in Andhra Bank. There, I was working uh, in zonal office Mahbub Nagar, looking after the credit card department. I was handling the sales and recovery of NPA of credit cards. During my tenure, I was successful in recovering 70 lakhs of NPA. And then, with an idea to uh, improve further and for a faster career growth, I was attempting MBA exams as well. I mean, don't you think it's been too late? Don't you think you've taken a lot of time to decide to do an MBA? I had my own financial obligations to do an MBA priorly, so I was waiting for the right time. Uh, in the meanwhile, in, in spite of waiting, wasting time and all, I thought of actually equipping uh, finance knowledge, so I kept searching for bank jobs. That is the main reason behind it. And I feel my work experience will help during my stay in MBA as well, if I get selected. Well, Naveen, I personally think that it will be tough for you to come back to academics after the significant work experience. Don't you think it will be tough for you to compete with the young and bright minds at any IIM? I, I feel it won't be that tough. As a matter of fact, I feel I have already passed the, a part of com competition uh, through CAT and all. And that is the reason and that is a sign of me having been sitting in this interview as well. And I also feel that my work experience has uh, given me a habit of working for longer hours and all. So I don't feel this as a hindrance. Instead, I feel this as a strength so that I can uh, do well in MBA. And in which field do you want to get specialized? Uh, as of now, uh, since I have a work experience in both finance and technology, I'm thinking of being a consultant in finance domain. But as a matter of fact, I don't... Uh, uh, I'm not so adamant about what I need. I'm open for learning and later on through the journey I would decide. So talking about the RBI, is it similar to any other bank or is there any significant difference? Uh, no, no. RBI is different from a normal bank. It doesn't do the normal business that a normal bank does. Instead, RBI is like a governing body. It looks after the functioning of banks in India and it, it guides banks and it formulates uh, all those rules and all by which banks need to be working working in India. So Naveen, if you were made the governor of RBI, what would you do? Uh, I, I would work for the independence of RBI from the government uh, so, such that uh, the functioning of RBI is more fruitful. So isn't RBI already an independent body? Uh, yeah, uh, it's an independent body but uh, we can see instances where the government is manipulating RBI in its working, interfering in its working at every other stage in its decisions and all. Uh, to, to support this point, uh, uh, if you can see Urjit Patel as an RBI governor, he stepped down in between his tenure. Uh, he is the first governor to do so. And this, though he, he mentioned many other reasons for that, but the interference of the central government is the main reason behind it is that what is what the news is so i feel rbi is not that in the in, inter like independent in its working so what is npa uh, npa is non performing assets okay so a little more detail about it uh, npa uh, it uh, any account any loan account uh, if if it's not active or the repayments are not happening for almost 90 days, then that account is turned into an NPA. Uh, NPS, NPS generally hamper the functioning of the banks. In which way is that? Uh, if an account becomes an NPA, some of the uh, amount of the loan is to be kept aside as a provision. This will result in the reduction of the capital as well. 
and once the capital is being reduced the uh, the banks are arrested to improve their loan growth uh, so it's it's proportional to their capital so once you reduce your capital the loans that they can give gets reduced so in this way banks growth is affected through nps and how would you suggest to control nps uh, nps can be controlled in in its initial stages itself when you when you go with a credit or a loan uh, the credit process review process should be very strict and stringent such that only the eligible person should be given a loan not everyone should be given loans at will that that way you can control nps a bit and even the recovery process uh, the government rules and all should be strengthened such that the recovery process is fastened and the nps are resolved in a much higher pace well i'm done thank you thank you mm-hmm. do you have any questions for us uh, no ma'am thank you well thank, thank you. you hello guys so that was my interview experience and i hope it was helpful uh, a tip from my side would be whatever you answer in your interview be confident about that when you are confident only then you can prove that you are worthy enough for a seat in iim and to be to be more precise relate your work experience with all those answers that you answer and that can be a huge asset and now he was able to defend his work experience as his strength rather than his weakness and this is what worked for him in his interview well as you can see in the interview he was confident throughout and he was quite well adept with the knowledge of his domain which really helped him sail through the interview so final verdict selected mm-hmm.